collisions are more likely to happen when a. All vehicles are traveling at about the same speed. b. One lane of traffic is traveling faster than the other lanes. c. One vehicle is traveling faster or slower than the flow of traffic. c. One vehicle is traveling faster or slower than the flow of traffic. Collisions are more likely to happen when one driver moves faster or slower than the other vehicles on the road. Driving faster than other traffic increases your chance of being involved in a collision. Driving more slowly than other traffic is also dangerous because it can increase the risk of a rear-end collision with your vehicle or cause other drivers to swerve to avoid hitting you. The conviction of a 16- or 17-year-old driver violating the electronic device law may result in a a $500 fine b a 10-day suspension c a 30-day suspension c a 30-day suspension by law drivers under the age of 18 cannot use a cell phone or mobile electronic device while driving even if it is, hands-free. If convicted of violating the electronic device law, a 16- or 17-year-old driver may be required to take a driver's retraining course. After completing operator retraining, an additional moving violation within three years of the completion date will result in a license suspension of at least 30 days. Which of the following statements about blind spots is true? A. Blind spots are eliminated if you have one outside mirror. B. Large trucks have bigger blind spots than most passenger vehicles. C. Blind spots can be checked by looking in your rearview mirror. B. Large trucks have bigger blind spots than most passenger vehicles. Even if a vehicle is properly equipped with rear view and outside mirrors, it still has blind spots that cannot be seen in the mirrors. Large trucks have much larger blind spots than most passenger vehicles. Hydroplaning occurs when tires ride on a thin film of water instead of on the surface of the road. To prevent hydroplaning in rainy weather, you should a Put on your cruise control to maintain a constant speed. B. Decrease your speed. C. Move to the shoulder of the road as soon as it starts to rain. B. Decrease your speed. In rainy weather, you should lower your speed to reduce the risk of hydroplaning. Driving too fast may cause your tires to ride up on the water and lose contact with the surface of the road making it very difficult to control your vehicle. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. If you have a sudden tire blowout, A. Use the brakes lightly. B. Pump the brakes. C. Apply the brakes firmly. A. Use the brakes lightly. If a tire suddenly goes flat while you are driving, hold the steering wheel tightly and keep the vehicle moving straight. Slow down gradually by taking your foot off the gas pedal and using the brakes lightly. Which of the following statements is correct? A. Use your left foot to brake. B. Use your right foot for both braking and accelerating your vehicle. C. You should always brake abruptly to ensure stopping. B. Use your right foot for both braking and accelerating your vehicle. Use your right foot for both braking and accelerating. You should apply the brakes gently with increasing pressure so that your vehicle stops gradually and smoothly. Large trucks are likely to lose speed when A. 
driving up long or steep hills. B. Driving in long, gradual curves. C. Driving down long, gradual hills. A. Driving up long or steep hills. Because large trucks require more time to accelerate than smaller vehicles, trucks can lose speed driving up long or steep hills. Be cautious when driving behind a large truck and be sure to give the vehicle additional space, especially when driving on an incline. When passing a row of parked vehicles, you should a. Be prepared for a person or vehicle to unexpectedly enter your lane. b. Expect all other drivers and pedestrians to respect your right of way. c. Drive closely to the parked vehicles to allow more room for moving traffic. a. Be prepared for a person or vehicle to unexpectedly enter your lane. Keep a space between your vehicle and parked vehicles. A person may step out of a parked vehicle or out from between the parked vehicles without looking. A driver may begin moving their vehicle before realizing you are there. When you see this black and yellow sign, it means A. The road to the right is for one-way traffic only. B. There is a detour to the right due to road construction. C. The road ahead changes direction at an extreme angle. If your car becomes disabled while on the highway, you should A. Stop in the right lane. B. Park with all four wheels off the traveled highway, if possible. C. Stop where you are. B. Park with all four wheels off the traveled highway, if possible. If your vehicle becomes disabled, you must, if possible, park with all four wheels off of the main traveled portion of the road. If you are about to be hit from the rear, you should consider each of the following, except for A. Applying your brakes. B. Letting go of the steering wheel. C. Pressing your head firmly against the head restraint. B. Letting go of the steering wheel. If your vehicle is hit from the rear while you are in forward motion, your body will be thrown backward. Press yourself against the back of your seat and put your head against the head restraint to prevent whiplash. Maintain a firm grip on the steering wheel and be ready to apply your brakes to avoid being pushed into another vehicle. This sign indicates a. The distance from road surface to a bridge or overpass. b. The maximum legal height of a vehicle allowed in this state. c. The maximum width of a vehicle allowed on the highway. a. The distance from road surface to a bridge or overpass. This is a low clearance warning sign. It indicates the distance from the road surface to the bottom of a bridge or overpass, in this case, 12 feet, 6 inches. The first thing that alcohol affects is A. Vision B. Judgment C. Balance B. Judgment Alcohol reduces all of the important abilities you need to drive safely. Alcohol goes from your stomach to your blood, then from your blood to all other parts of your body. Alcohol affects the areas of your brain that control judgment and skill. Using a cell phone while operating a motor vehicle is considered a distraction because a. It causes the driver to be concerned about the cost of the call. B. It occupies the driver's hands, eyes, and mind. C. It is an activity that draws the attention of other drivers. B. It occupies the driver's hands, eyes, and mind.
Using a cell phone while driving is dangerous because it occupies the user's eyes, hands, and mind. Even the most skilled drivers increase their risk of being involved in a crash by using a cell phone on the road. If you approach a stopped school bus that has its lights flashing and signal arm extended, you should A. Stop. B. Proceed at 15 miles per hour if no children are present. C. Proceed at normal speed, but watch for children. A. Stop. If you approach a stopped school bus that has its lights flashing and arm extended, you must come to a full stop and remain stopped until the signal arm is pulled back and the bus resumes motion. This law applies whether you are traveling in the same direction as the bus or if you are approaching from the opposite side of the street. In a work zone. A. Drivers do not need to obey traffic signs. B. Traffic patterns usually remain the same. C. Traffic patterns can change daily. C. Traffic patterns can change daily. Do not become oblivious to work zone signs when the work is long-term or widespread. Be aware that traffic patterns in work zones can change daily, including lane shifts or alternating lane closures. After you have held a license for six months, which of the following passengers cannot be in your vehicle while you are driving? A. Your 18-year-old friend. B. Your parents. C. Your younger brother. A. Your 18-year-old friend. During the first six months of having a license, a newly licensed driver may only be accompanied in the vehicle by a driving instructor, their parents or guardians, or someone at least 20 years of age with certain license restrictions. During the next six months, the only additional passengers allowed in the vehicle are members of the driver's immediate family. When driving in fog, it is best to drive with A. High beam headlights B. Low beam headlights C. Four-way flashers B. Low beam headlights Use low beam headlights when driving in fog, rain, or snow. High beams may reflect off of the weather and make visibility even poorer. If your vehicle starts to lose traction because of water on the road, you should A. Drive at a constant speed to gain better traction. B. Apply the brakes firmly to prevent your vehicle from sliding. C. Slow down gradually and not apply the brakes. C. Slow down gradually and not apply the brakes. When driving in heavy rain at speeds as low as 30 miles per hour, your tires may lose all contact with the road and instead ride up on a layer of water above the surface of the road. This is called hydroplaning. If your vehicle starts to hydroplane, Slow down gradually and do not apply the brakes. This sign means A. Two-way traffic B. Change in direction ahead C. School zone and crossing A. Two-way traffic this sign informs drivers that they are leaving a divided roadway and approaching a two-way highway. This sign means A. No left turn can be made here. B. A left turn can be made only after stopping. C. All traffic must turn right at the next intersection. A. No left turn can be made here. Signs with a red circle and diagonal line over a black symbol indicate that the action represented by the symbol is prohibited. In this case, the sign indicates that left turns are prohibited.
you may not park within how many feet of a stop sign? A. 30 feet. B. 25 feet. C. 15 feet. B. 25 feet. There are many areas where you cannot park. Do not park within 25 feet of a stop sign at any time. You are approaching an intersection where a traffic signal is displaying a steady yellow light. If you have not already entered the intersection, you should a. Speed up to beat the red light. b. Reduce your speed and proceed carefully through the intersection. c. Come to a safe stop. c. Come to a safe stop. At an intersection controlled by a steady yellow light, you should bring your vehicle to a safe stop. If you are already within the intersection when the light changes from green to yellow, continue through the intersection at a safe speed. How many alcoholic drinks does it take to affect your driving ability? A. 3. B. 2. C. 1. C. 1. It is not advisable to drive after drinking any amount of alcohol. Even a single drink will affect your ability to drive safely. This road sign means A. The roadway ends ahead. B. Drivers must bear either right or left. C. A four-way intersection is ahead. B. Drivers must bear either right or left. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers that they are arriving upon a fork in the road and they must bear either right or left. 